Hey guys, you're watching Archetype Game Dev, and in this tutorial, we're gonna finally make something which can be seen in Unreal Engine. For example, this rotating cube. So let's go to our C++ files and let's delete all of these. So addition and these variables. Same as here, we will delete this function and also call to that function. So we have empty begin play and empty tick. As I told you before, uh, don't mind this super. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna create our function rotate actor, which will rotate our actor, and it will have one input which will be called d time, which is actually delta seconds. So you can see it's fed with delta seconds, and it's called every tick. And we can say in rotate actor we will set actor ro uh, rotation, so its roll and pitch will be the same, but its yaw will be different. It will be actually multiplication of delta time and rotation speed rotation speed is a class variable and that uh, multiplication will uh, be added to current yaw and set to our new rotation z or yaw so let's go to our .h file and we will create new function that function actually as you can see no outputs and has input of delta time float so void no outputs rotate actor and we can say in brackets we set float d time and put semicolons and wait for visual studio to recognize okay show for that create definition okay we created it First things first, we're gonna call this get actor rotation. That is actor related function. So all actors inherit this function. It's the same in C++. So if we call get actor rot and you press tab, it will auto complete and open up a brackets. If we open up a brackets, read this. So its output is f rotator. It will give us its rotator. F rotator is called in C++ uh, the usual rotator in uh, Blueprint and in input we can see it's empty so it doesn't need any input it just give, returns us F rotator and as we know as I told you before since uh, since Blueprint does not work as C++ we cannot split this but we should store in local variable so let's say for example that we have local variable of rotator it will be the same as set and then we set it uh, whatever we get and then we can split so that's the way in C++ in this case F rotator it's called that is the way variable is called we say rotator okay so okay I'll copy this and say set this rotator to the rotation which gives uh, this function gives us Okay, so what's the next thing? So we have to multiply this rotation speed with delta time, which is input. And you can see rotation speed is class variable and it is value of 100. So we'll go to that h and we will say float my rot, no, no, rot speed equals to 100.f. If you remember, dot f is for floats. Okay, so next thing is to multiply it and to add it to existing yaw so we can make another local variable or we can access this rotator which gets actor location and we say rotator okay and we press dot and when, when we press dot we can access all the things uh, concerning this struct because rotator is struct if you know if you worked with uh, blueprint already you will know that it's struct that's why you can actually uh, break this and with dot we can access and we can say yaw so set its yaw equals means set as I told you before set this yaw to rotator dot yaw so already known yaw plus d time times rot speed maybe this looks a bit complicated because how can this be equal to this 
but it will always update uh, so rotation yaw will be equal to the previous yaw, yaw which is this and plus delta time so it's basically the same thing as this this thing but it uses local variable yaw and updates it so the previous one plus now delta time and now rotation speed it will give us a new yaw so it's set it's set to this to this kind of thing but it's only setting this variable it doesn't set actor even if it gets from actor it gets rotation so how are we gonna do that in this case we're gonna say set actor rotation okay and if we put brackets we can see we have two options the first one which is way way harder and the second one which needs F rotator new rotation so we created this new rotation so we have to feed it with that and it also needs teleport type which if you see this equals it means this is default type we don't have to write it down and we won't write it down is the same things as this one so it's not it's optional if you want just to put brackets again okay so let's find that second option so we can only put as input uh, this F rotator since we updated our rotator we can just say rotator and not rotator actor rotator rotator okay and semicolon okay so this is actually the way it's done in C++ but you will uh, probably never do this in blueprint this way but it's how this actually works just to explain you a uh, different way of doing the same function so we have our local variable and our local variable rotator and we set that rotator to get actor rotation so you can see rotator is set equals to get actor rotation because this returns that F rotator okay and then we set that rotator to rotator yaw plus delta time times rotation speed and it's the same we set that yaw to equals current yaw plus delta time times rotation speed and then we call set actor rotation and we set it to this rotator so it's the same set actor rotation and we set it to rotator just to uh, make sure that you get it uh, structs can be accessed parts of structs with this dot accessor so as for functions if you can see this takes input f rotator and this teleport type which if it has equals after the comma that means it uh, has a default type so you don't have to actually write it down in C++ if it was actually mandatory you would so yeah that's pretty much it now all we have to do is call this like we did it here on every tick rotate actor so we'll go to our tick and we will say rotate actor okay bra uh, brackets and input is flown delta time and we will say delta time we will input this delta time and we will say okay so maybe this actually looks a bit tough for now but really stick it uh, to this tutorial and you will see it's not even that hard it's just uh, C++ works differently now all we have to do is go to our Unreal Engine and say compile and we will wait for this to finish so I hope your compile is completed and uh, you didn't get any error if you did please uh, watch tutorial again or check out the link in the description you will have my code and we will go to our C++ classes CPP tutorial and you will find my actor and we will create blueprint class based on my actor so based on this C++ class and we will call it BP underscore my actor okay so we will add cube let's compile save and we will put it in our world and let's hit play and as you can see we can see our cube it's rotating it's 
all functions in C++ are working just fine.